Hello. Hello. Can I help you choose some flowers? Sure. Uh, I'm looking for something that says, I know you dislike me, but please don't kill me in my sleep. A long-stemmed red rose will make any woman happy to see you. The price is ten dollars. I'll take that long-stemmed rose. Good luck. She's well-groomed, isn't she? I like the way the light glints off her claws. Evening. Hello, David. I, uh, got you something. A rose. I'm impressed. You know how to treat a girl. My mama raised me, right? So, you said you wanted to, uh, fill me in. I do. I got you a beer. Hope that's all right. Perfect. Thanks. Looks like you already have a drink. Can I buy you another? Thank you, but I think I'd better keep my head. Sounds like a plan to me. So, tell me about Gretchen Stern. Deep subject. What do you want to know? What's your background? I have a master's in art history. You? I got training in all sorts of things in the military. Not sure how much of it will be useful in real life. I guess that depends on whether you hope to invade any small countries. What do you do besides work? I belong to a racquetball league. So you like to smash things? It relieves the tension. I don't suppose you have a better idea. I've heard meditation is good for that. Right. Do you have family in New York? No, my parents live in Connecticut. Must get a bit lonely. In the city? Hardly. How long have you worked for Rector Antiques? Long enough. Five years. I take it you run the shop while Mr. Rector travels? I do everything while Mr. Rector travels, which is always. I can see why he'd be loath to go away. You wanted to talk to me about Malachi? Yes. Be careful. He'll break your heart. Gretchen, I'm his bodyguard. Maybe, but people fall in love with him. That's the way it works. He's gorgeous, he's brilliant, and he's aloof. It makes you itch to break through those defenses. I'm not the itchy type. Good, because there's nothing behind those defenses. He doesn't have friends, he doesn't have relationships. He doesn't trust anyone, not even me. And I've been managing his shop for five years. I wonder why. It's not like you'd go behind his back or anything. I'm trying to do you a favor. I suppose you're speaking from experience. Did you two have something? One time. It's one of his rules. If you're lucky and you catch him at a weak moment, you might get once. He tells you that up front, and you think he doesn't mean it, or you'll be able to change his mind. He never breaks his rules. I've seen some of the most beautiful women in the world, famous women, walk into that shop and scream at him for walking away. It's like he's made out of stone. Look, his personal life is none of my business. He's my employer. I'm glad to hear you say that. So, you're straight then? My personal life is none of your business either. Well, it's been special. I should really get back. Give Malachi my regards. Sure. See you around. Ah! Sounds like Rector's being attacked. It's coming from his room. There, that'll work. I might be able to use that table. Once I figure out how and where, I'll pick it up.
I think that coffee table could reach it. isn't really the time to be admiring the view. Oh my god! Mr. Rector! <laughs> Malachi! <laughs> it's okay. I've got you. Are you all right? <sighs> Do you need paramedics? Can you talk? Get out! Get out! Yes, sir. Oh, hell. What a night. I can't believe I had a panic attack. And that Walker saw it. I think what happened with Markham triggered it. I must be losing my mind. I need to speak with Dexter again. Figure out what's going on. I should text him. Bring my security? That's interesting. We leave for an appointment in 30 minutes. No. I have a sister in Ohio. Thought I might go see her. My need for security hasn't changed. Look, I'm sorry I invaded your privacy. I thought you were being attacked. But I can't do my job like this. I have to know what it is I'm protecting you from. And I need to know about things like medical issues. There are no medical issues. I was there last night, remember? You take pills every four hours. What are they? Excuse me? What if we were to get into a situation where you couldn't get your meds? I need to know how to deal with that. You mean if we're kidnapped? Thrown into a dungeon, perhaps? That's likely. All right, Mr. Rector. I'll see you. You're not leaving. Yeah, actually, I am. Unless you have something you want to tell me. Last night, it was a panic attack. The first in three years. That's what the Xanax is for. I very much doubt it will happen again, so it need not concern you. Good. Now I know. Thank you for telling me.
Do you want to know what pills I take? Extra strength aspirin for headaches and Xanax. I can live without either. Migraines, among other things. So where is this meeting today? Amble Dexter. He's something to do with the government. If the men from Cairo are after me, it's for a job I did for him a few weeks ago in Venice. All right, Mr. Rector. I'll go. Suit yourself, Mr. Walker. I'm having coffee first. I want to protect you, you ass. Heard that. Good. I'm here to see Amble Dexter. Your passport, please. Mr. Rector, are you here with Mr. Walker? Uh, yes. This is Mr. Walker. Your passport, please, Mr. Walker. Very good. Go on through, sirs. What was that about? I was going to ask you. Hmm. Welcome back, Mr. Rector. Mr. Dexter? And Captain Walker. It's a pleasure to meet you. You have a most remarkable service record. Thank you, sir. You're quite the hero. I'm almost tempted to steal you from Rector's employ. I'm fine where I am at the moment, sir. <laughs> Sit down, Mr. Rector. You said you wanted to talk to me. You may speak freely. I do have your word, Mr. Walker, that nothing that's said here will leave this office. Yes, sir. I most certainly will speak freely. How do you know Mr. Walker? I take an interest in you, Mr. Rector, whether you work for me or not. When I heard you'd hired Mr. Walker, I made it my business to find out about him. My records are classified. And I believe that's called stalking out here in private citizen land. You're not merely a private citizen. I think we both know that. I was attacked in Cairo while on a job for another client. The attackers were the same ones who broke into my hotel room in Venice. They were dressed as Arabs, but it was definitely the same organization. In fact, they attacked Mr. Walker even before I hired him. Then they jumped both of us in the street. I'd like an explanation. Are they your men? No, they certainly are not. I can only assume they're interested in you for the same reason that I am, for your remarkable skills. Did you learn anything more about them? The Chinese, but not nationals. One of them spoke fluent English with an American accent. Interesting. We'll get to the bottom of this. I'll make sure of it. But please don't worry about those men. That's not your job. Oh? And what is my job? I think you know. Bianca Cardello was going to attend a dinner for Senator Markham. She would have met him there and... That's why she was killed. You know who Markham is, don't you? I... have an intuition. Tell me. If you know about Senator Markham, then you can understand why he's extremely important. If he becomes president, he could forestall the collapse of the global economy and bring a golden age to the US. Maybe for hundreds of years. We must protect that potentiality at all costs. Like Augustus did, in Rome. Yes. That's why we need you to take another job for us, Mr. Rector. What kind of job are we talking about? You determined that Bianca Cardolo was not Livia Drusilla. We believe she was killed because someone thought she was. Augustus would not have become Caesar without the wealth and connections his wife brought to their marriage. Someone is trying to kill Markham's Livia in order to prevent his presidency and the rise of the U.S. We've identified several more candidates. We need you to research each of them and tell us which one is the real Livia Drusilla. I'll offer the same payment as before. 50,000 for you and another 50 for Mr. Walker to provide for your personal security. No. Oh. <clears throat> Sorry. Do we have a deal? I told you my terms. I want to know more about what this agency does. And you can explain why you're interested in me while you're at it. You understand that they will kill her if they find her before we do. They may even kill anyone similar, just to be sure. The only way to prevent that is to identify her and get her into secured custody as soon as possible. That's not my problem. What about you, Captain Walker? You're a man of honor. 
Do the lives of a dozen or more women, the wife of a future United States president, mean anything to you? I could answer that, sir, if I had the vaguest flying fuck what's going on. <laughs> Very well. I guess I have no choice but to agree to your terms. Uh, Mr. Reichardt, Mr. Walker, if you would please step into the hall. Go ahead. I'm going to answer your questions, Mr. Rector. I hope I'm not wrong to trust you. What is this? It's you. What's that supposed to mean? Your IQ is 175. Your mother was killed by a lion in front of you when you were seven years old. Your father is a brilliant mathematician, but after your mother's death, killed while she was meeting her lover, he was betrayed and broken. He never showed you affection, hardly acknowledged your presence. Are you trying to tell me those events were engineered? That my mother... No, no. Of course people do try to manipulate events, but no. It was the pattern. All we do is watch. What does the death of my mother have to do with the pattern? It was critical to forming who you are. With your intelligence, you might have been a botanist, an oceanographer, a chemist. So many choices. But that lion made you loathe nature, so much so that you turned your back on it completely, focused on the history of men, of objects, and her death deeply scarred your ability to trust. Well... But Livia Drusilla is a person. The savant is not a person. No, it's an archetype. There have been three savants that we know of in the past, and likely more. Give me a name. Benedict de Montfroy, 1230 to 1280. He developed the Mobius theory, which remains our primary source to this day. His mother was killed by a bear. This is bullshit. If you believe that, you wouldn't be here. I'll send you a condensed version of the Mobius theory to your phone. Don't try to forward or copy it. We're routing your phone through a secured government call center as of now. Please be sure to use that phone for all future communications with me. I hope you offer better reception than my old provider. But what about Captain Walker? Who is he? And how is he involved in all this? Excellent question. I'll tell you the answer. After you've identified Livia Drusilla for us. You drive a hard bargain. I'll make the arrangements. Mr. Rector, Mr. Walker, before you board the plane, there's someone here who wants to speak to you. I wanted to meet you gentlemen in person before you left. Senator. It's a pleasure to meet you, sir. I wanted to ask you personally for your help in identifying and protecting this woman. The woman who was supposed to become my wife. I can't say I completely believe in any of this, but I'll do what I can to identify Livia Drusilla, if she exists. Thank you. I don't blame you for your skepticism. I only found out about Fida and Mobius a few months ago myself. It's very strange to be told your own destiny. You never doubted your destiny for a moment. True. I always knew that I was meant for something important. But it's another matter to have it confirmed. To know that this woman is out there, and what she's supposed to mean to me. To know that there are people who want to destroy me before I get a chance to do what I was born to do. And to know that they damn well can. They won't succeed, sir. Because we're better than they are. Do I have your word on that, Captain Walker? Yes, sir, you do. Goodbye, sir. And don't worry. One of these days, you're gonna tell me who the hell you really are. When I figure it out, you'll be the first to know. <laughs>